Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is a regularly scheduled uh, meeting of the Central and Select Board. Oz is behind the counter and uh, making sure that we're on TV and live, and that's a Did good thing. Did she give us a high five? She gave us. We're, we're talking over. Really? We're, give us a high five. We were in so. sync. Yes. Right? It's all good. Um, if we look younger and more, more handsome tonight, it's because the lights have been upgraded. It's not because we try. Uh, another another step yeah, in our green communities effort, uh, DOER grant, and this building, public safety, elementary what they school, take the ballots, uh, direct connect. Direct yeah. It is direct. It isn't. Yeah. It? No more ballots. Huh? No more ballots. No. Um, and public safety complex. So keep an eye out. And again, all these all these uh, initiatives not are as, cold as we talk about mm -hmm. budget season, trying to save you some know, money. The well, that's because we've got, got the thermostats well, now. I mean, yeah, I mean a color temp. Yeah, they're colder than the other ones. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we have uh, four items tonight. Uh, well, we have several items. Uh, we're going to talk about a, a sewer abatement request. Uh, we're a little late for that. We can call it to order, actually, at 636. <laughs> Probably a good idea to do that. So we yeah. like legal <laughs> and stuff. Again. Uh, again. That's only in one time. Um, we got some minutes to approve, some uh, board updates. Uh, town administrator, administrator search update. We have recommendations about rights of refusal for some 61A property. Uh, we have a tie-in bond uh, letter to sign. We've got some CHA work decide. Excuse me, design work to decide on. And uh, on our agenda tonight, we have executive session available to us. I don't see any reason to do that. In that uh, legal counsel has. Uh, draft contract for Jeffrey Gravitz, and once that draft contract is back, we expect to be making at some point a formal announcement. But we want to make sure all the paperwork is in place because you got to have your paperwork, right? <laughs> it's just the way it is. Okay, first up, if we could, uh, Stanley Michkowski wants to talk about sewer abatements at 134 North Silver Lane. Stanley, come on up. You get a front row seat. How are you tonight? Good. Be careful, Stanley. That front where it's seat, you never know what's going to happen. It's the hot seat yeah. right there. That's like that commercial on TV. The guy hits that button, next thing you know. Nope. Pff, we don't on. have any buttons. Yeah. Well, not on the top of the table. <clears throat> one down here. I survived an accident with a hit and run uh, last July. Yep. Got hit. Where? Deal. North Silver Line. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Not a good thing. <clears throat> so right. Broken collarbone, all smashed up. Hmm. So I'm good for this one. Yeah, <laughs> you can handle this. So go. we have a, we have a letter. <laughs> we we have a letter. We get a, we get a note from you. Um, excuse me about uh, wanting a abatement at the water. Excuse me at this property because the water has not been turned on in some time, uh, but it's still connected to the sewer. Right? Am I capturing that right? Uh, this, it's been uh, there's nobody been in there since 1985. Mm -hmm. And even though it's connected to the sewer, you're still looking for you're still looking for uh, an abatement. Okay. So for those who are watching, you know we we charge a connection fee, and then as long as you're connected, based on your location, your number of fixtures, etc., you're um, assessed by the sewer district, or excuse me, the town, the sewer managers. Uh, this year's rate is three hundred and seven dollars and thirty six cents, and to get removed from the sewer, this isn't like water infiltration, which is coming by the way. Anybody who's got their storm leaders going into mm -hmm. the water system, cut that out <laughs> um, because they're, they're coming. Um, we'll find out. <laughs> they're gonna. They're coming. Um, contrary to that, this actually requires a, a physical disconnect. So. Um, a physical disconnect for this, um, um, Stanley, is, is going to mean like not just in the house plugging the pipe. It means opening up the ground and disconnecting it from the sewer system. Yeah. Well, you can, why can't it be disconnected just outside the house? Yes. Yeah, o outside of the house. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I don't, I don't think anybody's going to be living in there while I'm still alive. Mm -hmm. you know? Okay. It's, uh, it's in the state. Everybody wants to finger it, but nobody wants to pay, pay any of the bills, you know. <laughs> Classic, right? Yeah. 
there's eight members of the family, you know, I don't even know who some of them were. Sure. You know? Yeah. Go ahead, Tom. It, Stanley, if it is brighter in here, Scott. It is brighter. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I get it on the top of my glasses. I can I can tell right away. Mm. Uh, Stan, I don't I don't have a problem um, personally. I I don't have a problem not charging you sewer. If you disconnect it, you disconnect it outside the house. We're done. You know what I mean? See, there's another problem with that sewer. It, it costs about three hundred dollars a year just to have it augured out because a neighbor planted uh, uh, rows of pine. Yep. And the roots are getting, getting in, inside, in the yeah. system, mm -hmm. you know, and it keeps cleaning it. How many times can you clean it without it worn out? Sure. Not many. Um, you can. You, they they got some things that they got some root control that you can throw inside there, but. It won't last for everything. No, you, you wear them out. I, I think oh, it's yeah. asbestos pipe that was used here mm. years ago. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm sure it is. I'm, I'm sure it is. Well, I'm, no, I'm, depending asbestos. on the vintage of the house, it's probably in 50s, 640s. Yeah. Probably asbestos. Mm -hmm. They're probably not even clay. Mm -hmm. You're right. They had a lot of, a lot of problems with that line with that sewer line that runs uh, on North Silver Lane, mm -hmm. it can break it all the time. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Absolutely. <laughs> that but yeah, if you nice. disconnect disconnect it outside the house, and that's fine for us. Okay, I, I can do it that easy. You know. Yeah. I I, under, I understand what the other thing you're saying, to, and I would say the easiest thing is disconnect outside the house that way. If someone, if someone were to decide to go back, and in, in my opinion, if somebody else decide to go back and live in it, then then the reconnect it. You do reconnect it, and every, and we do the yeah. thing. So yeah, that that's what I would suggest. The only thing I would add would be to make sure that Rich or George sees it. Hmm? Make sure that Rich, Brenda, or, or George sees it, or we get some pictures <clears throat> of it somehow. Somehow we can yeah. document it. You you can let us know so the highway the highway super or the. Uh, yeah, I can take some pictures of it for you. That's yeah. and that's fine also. Or you yeah. give, give me a call. I can come up. It doesn't. Yeah. One of us can. Okay. I can, I can go up or the highway super or Rich can go up and we just look at it. That's fine. I See, I'm I available. Don't, I don't know. It probably won't be too too <clears throat> soon that I'm going to do that because of the broken collarbone. You know. Mm-hmm. I would say it's probably spring or something. Uh, my my guess is we're gonna. Unfortunately, it's going to freeze again. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know, but it's fine. Work with with the weather. You yeah, know? it'd be fine. I I think that's the best thing to do. I agree. I agree with you, Scott. No more discussion, Dave. No, I think it's yeah. So, not hearing any more discussion, is there a motion to approve the abatement for this year? Up after it's been determined the sewer has been disconnected to 134 North Silver Lane. Motion. Second. Okay, there's a motion made and seconded? Yep. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Three to zero, please. Okay, Stanley, you get us some pictures or Tom stops by and we see that the pipe's cut and we'll, we'll get you. I can Just let us know. Yeah. Get in touch with somebody. Yep. yep. Yeah. Just let us know. We can do it. Very good. You call our office, call Cindy, whatever, or Give me a call at home. I, I can stop by and look at it. Okay. Okay. Make him dig the hole. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be there. I'll be in a hole tomorrow. Be in a so hole yeah, tomorrow. I'll be in a hole tomorrow. Yeah. So, it'll be fine, Sam. Very good. Thank Thanks you so much. Okay. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Oh, aye. Aye. <laughs> Almost yeah, we had the motion right. second. It's all we need, right? Thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks. Read the zero. Thank you, Sam. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you very much. We're almost on time. Still five minutes late, starting at 5.30 this morning. What do you wake up this morning and just have like a bag of Mondays dropped on them? It was just one of those days. I don't know. It seems like there's a lot of people who had that kind of Monday today. Oz is nodding. Okay. All right. Thank you. Wasn't just me or my wife. It's Monday. It's, uh, it's no, no, it was the weekend. Yeah. Seven degrees on Saturday. Yeah, messed up. I mean, come on. And a full moon. And a full moon. See, there you go. That'll do it. Okay, Nancy, you want to talk about a ConCom letter of support for a state drinking water supply protection grant? 
And are you guys going to stay and we're going to subject jump and talk about right of refusal at the same time? Jennifer's here. For, well, yeah, yeah, we'll all yeah, stay. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah. All, we're so, all wearing yeah. different hats. Got it. It's hat time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> well, uh, you know, no fancy visuals, is, but, yeah, you know, there's yeah, something for you guys <laughs> to look at. We're working on that. We, ha we have envisioned of putting up a, 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 a TV flat up there. Big oh, flat screen. Yeah. But, the, but the, we keep talking to the... Uh, Oz's boss, but Oz yeah, hasn't happened yet. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. yeah, we well, we can talk about that. Afterwards. We can talk about that. There you go. So, uh, concom letter of support. What area are you talking about? This has been coming for a long yep. time. Uh -huh. They've been talking about this piece of property. Oh, well, yes, yeah. that's true. A long time. <laughs> yes, yeah, so like a decade. Mm -hmm. Right before I was even on the concom, they were talking. About it's been, it's been nothing. Nothing happened. Huh. So, so, um, so Kestrel, Kestrel... I don't, I'm going to tell the whole story. <laughs> you, know, you can just be patient here. Sorry. Nice. I wanted to, because I've, I have it all planned out, because it starts with this. Yeah, there you go. Which water. is Sunderland water, nice. which is like the best water in Massachusetts, if not the country, right? Yeah. One of them. Right? It, it has won awards. It has. Yeah, it's really, mm -hmm. like, when I'm away and I come home, it's like, oh, <laughs> the water. Long lost friend. Yes. <laughs> So yes, so we much have than the water. good news because yes. these 40 acres on Cross Mountain Road that were vulnerable to development and they were on the market. Um, There's some beautiful lots overlooking the valley there. Yep. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah. there you have it. These yeah. 40 <laughs> acres that were more importantly next to Sunderland Water District's Rilicki Pumping Station. Yeah, gorgeous. It's gorgeous there. It's beautiful. And it is... High-end houses. Those are probably million-dollar homes. <laughs> Todd, you missed your chance. <laughs> Cindy, I should have got my, com my contracting company square go. plum and level. <laughs> okay, well, from our perspective, this is good news. From Tom's perspective, it may be very disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> but the good news is now, even if you can't have your dream house there, you can walk this land forever because Kestrel Land Trust pre-acquired the 40 acres to protect them. Yeah. And now they're looking for partners, namely Sunderland, mm -hmm. <laughs> to come in and um, uh, work with them to figure out kind of, uh, you know, one of those deals so that the, the money can... Um, so was the water, is the water district looking for a grant from the state? Yes. I haven't gotten to that part yet. They're narrowed away from me. Come on, man. I'm, so, I'm a writer. This is my big chance. It's, it's the lighting. Okay. The lighting's gone straight to his head. <laughs> it is bright. Yes, it is. Uh, okay. So, I thought it was just a yes. guest that we had in the room. Step today. one in our, the, the next chapter in our story is that um, Kestrel has helped or has really drafted this state water supply protection grant. And that would cover half of the cost of acquiring the 40 acres. And that had a very short uh, window. It was announced at about Thanksgiving, and it's due January 21st. Mm -hmm. So we've really had to hustle to get the application in, and Kester has been super helpful. Um, so if this is successful, then Sunderland Water District owns the land. And Kestrel will have a conservation <coughs> restriction overlay in perpetuity to keep the land from being developed. So the select board doesn't actually need to vote on this tonight, um, but we are hoping that you will submit a letter of support um, with the grant application. And um, we would say that protecting the water is good not only for us humans, but also for all the rare plants and animals that live on Mount Toby, including 42 species of fern. Um, <laughs> which is a lot of ferns. And um, hmm. the um, land would be open to passive recreation, you know, like yeah, hiking, hiking and, and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and there was a technical question from Kestrel uh, about it, whether, um, since Sunderland Water District is going to own the fee interest, does Sunderland, the town of Sunderland, need to authorize the acquisition? And can this be done through a CPA vote at town meeting. Okay, we can we can talk to council about yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, that's a okay. Okay. Better, we have a few days. Better be yeah, you know, <laughs> safe on that. Yeah, I, we, we, yeah, we, yeah we, we we would talk to council about that. Okay. Um, 
I mean, actually, you don't need to. You would need to authorize that. We can get the application yeah. in without that, without that being done. And um, and just to sort of give you a heads up, so the state would cover half, about one hundred forty-five thousand dollars, if this comes through. Uh, I think CONCOM would be able to pitch in twenty thousand dollars, which is what we have available in our trust fund. That's not. Mm -hmm. um, specifically designated for API yeah. agricultural land. Mm -hmm. yeah. Kestrel is going to chip in 20000 and then it will be CPA in the water district that will probably need to supply right. the balance, and we haven't figured out exactly what that equation is going to look like. What's the purchase okay. price? Um, 272 but then there are also yeah, stuff. You know, fees and yeah. stuff. Yeah. yeah, so good. I think the uh, original purchase price from 400 Scott. Mm -hmm. right. did, did to get into the program. Right. Uh -huh. For the test roll and to get into the program, they're carrying costs. Well, what what, ha what happened is that it, you know then you you could want a price. Yeah. But then it's kind of like APR. Then yeah. they, they figure out so that the two seventy two was the final price. Right. That they. That was the appraised value, and that was yeah yeah because they they had to figure in the cost of the the upgrade utilities mm -hmm. and all that kind of good stuff goes into it. Because you could. I mean, if you do want your dream house to be there, hmm. you might be able to still come in and negotiate the form. <laughs> <laughs> but probably not. <laughs> yeah. Maybe 30 years. <laughs> You're right. Yes, exactly. It still costs us. Okay. So, so if you have questions, Ellie Kurth is here, but she's the expert on the technical side of things. She's going to get it done. So, so, the, so this is actually, you, you know where the land is, right? Yep. David? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's 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 above Liz Foster's right. house. Yeah, it's on that that side of the aquifer. Yeah, I think just that shoulder. The drinking out. water protection alone merits it. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, it, it, just that alone is a critical resource, and it's only going to get more and more important. And we're lucky to not be in a dry area, mm -hmm. so it's it's very important to protect that. Let alone all the other issues. What should we be worried about? Um, as far as protecting this versus not protecting it? Yeah, about the process forward. Yeah. It's a grant. Um, we have a lot of moving parts. Mm -hmm. And if we get, it's completely doable, but it might be stressful right before the end of the fiscal year. Right. If we get funded for this fiscal year, then we'd have to, they'll let us know in April, but we'll still need the town meeting vote at the end of April right. for the CPA funds. Mm -hmm. Oh. And um, so they won't execute the contract until we have those things in yeah. place. And then we have to go and do the survey if it's not, I don't think a property's been surveyed. And we have to do a baseline um, documentation report. I've done all of this. Mm -hmm. I've, done, I've worked on drinking water supply grants that were funded. So it's there's a lot of moving parts and pieces, but we have a really great team here too. So it's not like one of us would be trying to do all of it by ourselves. Right. So I have no doubt that we can do it. It'll it's kind of like busy, all the projects we do. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Different than any other one. Grants are great to get, and then yep. you have to do all the work. <laughs> it's it's so, a great So who result. actually ends up owning the property? Sunderland Water District is yeah. going to own the property. Okay. That's a requirement yeah. of the grant. And the grant's going to pay for how much of it? One half of the acquisition and one half of the closing costs. Okay. It's a tight timeline, too, for the mm -hmm. submittal, but that might work in our favor because maybe fewer towns will apply this year. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. hmm. Some years it's very competitive, and some years it's not so much. So, so, so CPA would have to come up with, like, $100,000, $120,000? Oh, we were thinking the yeah, CPA would split it with the water district, right. and we just don't. Yeah, I was just... I was just their vote is the first weekend the first week in may mm -hmm. i believe like they they only year, meet year, once a year, year, year so they can't right around the same time as our town i think meeting. it's a week after town meeting yeah. i think so i, I, I so was just okay do they have indication that they're they're amiable to doing this yes they mm -hmm. voted um, to proceed. last week or the week before three to zero to yeah. support the application and the goal would be to close it up by the end of the fiscal year yes yeah. um well, there's 
On the application, the draft that I'm looking at, it looks like Kestrel did check that there's an option to say whether or not you'd rather have it funded next fiscal year. Okay. And it looks like um, Kestrel did check the box that we could fund it next fiscal year. It um, doesn't change our goal to want to get it done, though. Right? Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And, so, and we'd need all, it would want all these votes in place and everything. Okay, that's easy enough. Mm -hmm. yeah. So a letter, a letter from the board first and foremost, right? I mean, we yes. have we have one question about town monies uh, and then district ownership, and that's really the kind of the only question that council will be involved in. The rest of it's going to be grant driven, and then whatever appropriation warrant article. Well, sort of, it's sort of. I mean, there's going to be money coming from conservation, right. out of their out of their fund, mm -hmm. right? Right. Let's see, let's see. You know how much you have in that now, Nancy? As I said, I think there's only twenty thousand that is not earmarked for APR. Yeah. So I think okay. we would we would contribute what we yeah. have, but that's all that we can. And it's just coming off of a big APR. Yes. yes. And and you have and your money you 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 accounted for the money for the gun property the APR. That's what I was. That's all. To. That's all yeah. set. Also. It's all set. Because mm -hmm. okay. I I think those are the only things that you had for land acquisition, right? The the two gun properties. I'm not the <laughs> <laughs> still She's outside. still outside. <laughs> I believe that that's right, but you have to ask Jennifer if you I, really I, want the. I think, it was, yeah, I, I think there was there was the two gun prop, the two gun APRs. Yes. I think that's all we in. And Concom's share is like thirty nine thousand. I think we had money to. Was there anything that. on the the Whitmore? Was anything on the Whitmore? Did you see anything on the Whitmore property? So we're not. You're not pursuing. We're not acquiring that. No, I, it's, not too, it. it's too small. <coughs> we that that came through planning board. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those two properties aren't. What's that? Those two properties on the agenda aren't for part of conservation. They made a recommendation to us. Right. Mm -hmm. I, I just trying to put numbers together. Yeah. yeah. There won't yeah. be any involvement. Yeah. With those two. I just I just trying to. Yeah. So last year, town meeting actually gave Concom eighty thousand from CPA money for land acquisition. But that is earmarked for right. IP. So, but that is able to cover our gun, the, the two gun properties, and still leave us with. Um, uh, yeah, some I, change. Per, I and I only ask a question because I just want to, because this is it is a beautiful piece of property. It really is. Um, I think I, I've walked it many times. Oh. Well, now you now you won't be trespassing. <laughs> okay. I, I know, I Until know. you get to this line, right? Here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> okay, so we have a draft letter in front of us in support of. Is there a motion to sign the letter? Motion. Second. Is there a motion made and seconded to sign? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, that's three to zero. So yeah, we, there's the first action. How's that for the speed of light? Right there. Yes. We'll you. sign it down the original downstairs, and we'll have it. And by the end of tonight. Yes, and this okay. was—it's true. It was ten years in the making to figure out how to make this happen. So Actually, make it. Sometimes things take a little while. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank okay. you very much. Thank you both. Well, we thank should you. all walk it. We'll all walk it. And there you go. I like there it. You go. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. Run the dogs. So, are you going to do the reviews? Are you doing the reviews? No, I'm taking questions. I'm just here. Oh. Well, we're, it's still ConCom -Con now, but okay. we'll, uh, we'll switch So, over. let's jump down to new business with ConCom -Con and that ConCom, -Con, and that's right of first refusal for 336 Falls, and then uh, right of first refusal for 22 North Silver. Why shouldn't we do this? Did Kurtz send you a note? Yes. Yeah. Sorry, the email. The Falls Road one is up in the woods, and yep. it's not potential APR, good, not good soils. Mm -hmm. Steep slope. A little disjointed and it's slopey. Not contiguous with anything else. It's just yeah. kind of like, yeah. Okay. And that's, that's up on Falls, 336 Falls Road. So it doesn't seem like there's any change that's going to happen with that use. That, so it's just going to stay the way it is anyway. So. And then the second, 22 North Silver Lane. Yeah, that one, it is prime soils, but once it gets divided, mm -hmm. it's less than five acres. So we wouldn't be able to put be able it, to do it into APR or anything. Um, 
Now, maybe they won't. Mm -hmm. Maybe they won't end up dividing it. They have to go through the planning board process still to do that. Okay. And then sell it as one lot. And whoever buys the house gets that piece of the land that is farmable. And, Maybe something good can come from that stage. Right. But okay. we, we're not in, in the business of just buying land to protect it. We have to do it with a partnership, and the people still own it, and that's the APR or conservation restriction. But it's too small to do that part. Yes, yeah, so the part that's, if it's, con if it's conveyed out, is just 2.83 acres, mm -hmm. and that's it. So that makes sense. So it has been in 61A as part of the, the larger lot, but it does, to get to the five acres, is actually using some lawn and, you know, so it's not fully five acres of 61A. Right. <laughs> turn out, turn out. <laughs> Organic something. There you go. Scott, this is, you know, this is your favorite road. One of them. It's true. Oh, Silver Lane's your favorite road? No. No. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whitmore, Whitmore Cross. Whitmore. Uh, wow. Well, oh, Whitmore Cross. Yeah. We, 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 we spent a lot of time on that road. We're emotionally, <laughs> we're emotionally yeah. invested in a Whitmore Cross road. <laughs> yeah, emotionally, we are invested in that road. And, um, to say the least. To say the least. So, so that said, uh, not exercising the right of refusal requires a vote and a motion of the board yes. because it is tied up and we'll do these one at a time because there are different okay. spaces that said is there any more discussion last pitch before we vote no nah I'm trying to come up with some creative yeah. way to save <laughs> under five acres but yeah no no only get you so far let's not do that okay discussion amongst the board no no I don't think so. Schleppi's house? Oh, that's it right here. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Not the why. Not the, anyway. <laughs> oh, the history. Do there. you know in New England that if you can't find the meets and bounds and if there is a stone wall, the stone wall is considered a legal Bound. marking of property lines? Yeah. I knew that. Oh, we didn't know that. We know now. We know it 10 years ago, didn't we, Scott? We had long discussions about that. <laughs> <laughs> and widening a space, which isn't a space, but could be a space because it was a space. We're just recreating the space. It's complicated. And then the garage shows up, but that was my uncle. And I was like, well, uh. <laughs> hmm. it's Although, you know, this, this, has more this has more definition than we ever saw before, yeah. Scott. Well, we had a vested, we had a party with a vested interest sharing information with us. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. No other discussion. Is no there a motion to? Now we have to get this motion correct, right? Yeah. This is a right of first refusal, right? To and not the recommendation is to not, not exercise. Not exercise. Right. Okay. So. Uh, I'll make a, uh, is there a motion to exercise our right of refusal to exercise our right of first refusal for 336 Falls Road? Uh, motion to not exercise, right? Our right of... Or to, we, we could do it that well, way too. <laughs> or our motion to exercise our right and then not act ding, upon ding, it. Ding, ding, Let's ding, do it that way. <laughs> so is there a motion to second. exercise? There is. Motion David. to exercise. And there's a second. This is for... 336 Falls Road. All those in favor? Aye. All those opposed? No. Oh, nay. Well. <laughs> <laughs> He's like speaking in double negative. I just fell right into it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 I knew that was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen. Okay. We get to do it again. We can't have them all three. All of them. Good save, Dave. Good save. Okay. Is there a motion to exercise our right of first refusal for, hang on, it's the second one, uh, 22 North Silver Lane? A motion to exercise our right of first refusal. Motion. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor? All those opposed? Nay. 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 <laughs> we did it. 
<laughs> three to zero, please. <laughs> Two to one and three to zero because Oz has got the TV on. Okay. Any other fun whiz bang con com stuff? What's cooking in con com world? I don't know. There's there's a handful of people that are interested in doing different things with their land because they don't want it anymore. Hmm. Like a lot of it? Yeah. Hmm. Let's see where that goes. If you think about the last 18 months or so, the amount of energy and effort that's gone in for the gun piece is a success story. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's just a gem at that part of town. They're still using their land. Right. right. That's quite cool. Yeah. And it's good also that the, the value, that the, the amount that you can get now for APR land has gone up substantially. Good. So it's almost... That was almost 10,000 dollars. Well, it depends there. on what year you're comparing that mm -hmm. to. <laughs> okay. but, but it's trending in the right direction. It's five, yes. to, right. it's five to 10,000 an acre, Got which it. I think is considerably lower than the heyday. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, huh. <laughs> Interesting. But more recently, it's better. Uh huh. Okay. So we'll have our uh, official letter downstairs. That's for the water protection zone, okay. right? Thank you. We have questions of town council about, I, I will personally need clarification about using town funds for district land. How does that holding work out? I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's been done. We're not reinventing any kind of a wheel here, mm -hmm. but I'd like to know. Well, CPA, CPA, CPA. funds are allowed to, mm -hmm. if the congregational church wanted to do Correct. something and they came for CPA funds, we could grant them CPA yep. funds to do that. Yep. So as long as it's I'm sure I'm sure there's there's precedent for it. Sure. That makes perfect sense. But <coughs> and we that's, have that's why we pay a little dollars to the lawyers to right. keep us out of trouble. Mm -hmm. just, and, and just like the contract just like the contract for town administrator. Correct. I mean you figure you send it you talk to the, the the legal, they they do their wing wing bang. Oh did you guys know? It's like no, but right. Actually, it's, it's funny you mention it without giving away any secrets. There was a there was a line in the indemnification that I was talking to David Jenkins today, and he said, "Yeah, you actually in all of, he's a labor lawyer. He said in all of the indemnification contract languages that for all of the towns and town administrators, yours was the only one where the town was indemnified." <laughs> I said, "Oh, you finally get a chance to clean that up, right?" He goes, "Yeah, probably." <laughs> like the only one. You pick that sentence up, bang. It's like, huh. So, yeah. Anyway. I mean, and, and, and for them, it's a two-second thing. Yeah. And they, so it's worth it. Perfect. Okay. So that said, um, no other cool whiz bang news that we can't share quite yet, and that's okay. We're all good. <laughs> oh, all right. wanna, yeah. Actually, well, you know, I guess, can I move on? Can we can we go to public comment? Sure. Can you? If as long as we're done with concom stuff, we're done with that. There's off yeah. the agenda. Yeah. We get our votes. We got your letter. Okay. okay. Public comment. Hi, my name is hey. David Cott. I'm a recent transplant from Boston. I moved to St. Louis six months ago with my family. Welcome. Welcome to Twenty Nine Plum Tree Road. Yep. Um, I would like to uh, I seek your guidance in seeking the areas in which are uh, most needed for something like a pollinator garden. I'm trying to wrap up a proposal hmm. to get a CPA grant, a small one, um, for a pollinator garden that also has embedded, integrated like signage and like little PSAs about you know pollinators, the water cycle, compost, what is this, what does it do? Hmm. I used to do guided tour signage for school gardens in Somerville, and I would love to do that out here. And, um, I also don't know where to put it. What's the input from the how, how, does, how does a pollinator garden hold up against knotweed? Against knotweed? Um, um, not I would love to get rid of the knotweed and put the pollinator garden stuff over top of it. But basically, anything you rip up, just as long as you replace, the, you put something in the ground that can take, that's you know not just a seedling, but yeah, something yeah. strong enough that will take, that's how you get rid of invasives. Uh, I also studied that and I um, pushed up invasives like bittersweet and, uh, and um, straw. Black swallow wart is one of yeah. my most favorites, least favorites, um, because of health. I'm an anti bittersweet guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we can keep going. Cool. So, uh, so the three for me are bittersweet, uh, knotweed, and uh, swallow wart. They yeah. are the three like, most proliferating and just pernicious to take them. Huh. 
So knocks them down, get yeah. some pollinator stuff there. But the goal of this would be not just to plant a pollinator garden in the middle of a field or whatever, but to welcoming space where people can maybe even harvest some berries or mm -hmm. fruit from it and get people to engage in it. Little little placards, you know, this is a, this is this kind of berry. This this needs this to grow, and this is compost, this is turning the soil. Just a couple little like I do creative like signage and um, I also love gardening and, and working small low hanging fruit stuff we can take towards helping the environment. Um, so uh, yeah, what do you guys have any suggestions? I have, I have two of hand hand. hands up. So. <laughs> <laughs> have you talked to him at a school? Which school? The elementary? Elementary, elementary yeah. Uh, no, I'd like to. Mm. I don't know if I'm talking there, though. That could be a very good opportunity. Laura Cox. Laura Cox. Um, she's a, a teaching assistant at Lincoln High School. Mm -hmm. And she's doing some kind of instructional assistant, kindergarten, preschool, young children, usually, okay. but they might be spreading her around. She would be the, a person to run this by. And yeah, they they have a beautiful pollinator garden behind the school, right, where the bigger so. playground is. Mm -hmm. There's a hand. She's part of a group that's. They've also did other gardens in the back too, mm -hmm. um, vegetable gardens. So I've seen those. A, yeah, that's great. Uh, there's a water capture system that their students designed to really cool. water the gardens back there, along with the pavilion. That was a different group that. Okay, got she's that the going. person talking to. Um, but all the, I think there's different people throughout the school, but she's the one person I know that is there in the summertime that can help maintain things too. Cool. Um, but they, the, the driveway leading into the school on the right hand side is milkweed, lots of milkweed, so it's great for, and it's been, it was loaded with monarchs this year. Um, but they want to enhance that with more pollinator plants. I actually saw that and was like, oh, I have to find some. <laughs> and that's the area they have in mind, and they just they awesome. yeah. Yeah. and they might be, they might already be working toward mm -hmm. it. My son isn't there anymore, so I don't have my nice. full hand in the pot. <laughs> nice, more, but great. Um, that's a good. That's a good start. Yeah. So, and, and and I I was thinking that school would be good because you you have an audience mm -hmm. right, to see it. But the other thing is, is our path going to the the river mm -hmm. is start is get very well used. And there's potential maybe over in that co in the or northwest the corner down. or the southwest corner mm -hmm. on the on the trail where you could get it would be a reason for people to stop and look there also. How's the sunlight near that path? The northwest. <coughs> Which would like the entrance into oh, okay. going into the into, into the, the edge of the field you're talking? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, yeah. right, right. Yeah, Nancy and I tried to plant some stuff there and the weeds <laughs> Well, you have to take care of it. That's mm -hmm. it. Did. Part of the grant. We planted and prayed, but it didn't. It didn't yeah, work. Yeah. We really have to keep it up. That's why we got compost going <coughs> in there. Yeah. yeah. I see a compost pile too, and I know that you know, and that's going to be. If you don't wall it up, like one of the things I did in Somerville, where we created like the, uh, we worked for the groundwork Somerville, and we became I became an urban ambassador for agriculture. So like roof gardens and stuff like that, but mm -hmm. we've learned what you can do in small plots of land if you just really can't tolerate weeds and like mice and things to get in there. You yep. make the raised bed, you put the land, landscaping fabric, then you put like the chicken wire under that, and then you can put that in a field and nothing will come up or well, relatively nothing will come up under it. But that would be a great So So stop may, maybe uh, when we get closer to springtime? Yep. March. Yeah, like. I would say March. March. Well, Mar March is, 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 is you could walk a couple of places with us. Um, and maybe you can talk to Ben at the at the elementary school. He's the okay. principal. <laughs> Jennifer can maybe introduce you to uh, okay. the ambassador. The ambassador. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then and then and then we can go with Nancy and uh, Sarah out here, and we got a couple places out here that we can look at also. Great. I want to move forward with getting the grant money because it's in a week. It's due in a week, obviously. Mm -hmm. But uh, to secure that without having to pick the location yet, as long as I have your blessing and guidance and mm -hmm. work with the Perfect best spots for this. Excellent. Great. Thank you. What's the Thank you so much. CPA. Oh, it's a CPA. Yep. Oh, got it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you looking for a particular <laughs> land mass or just make it demonstrable to be able to say, ah, this is the. You can give me a desert and I'll make it work. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not by, I mean by area. Oh, size wise? Yeah. Uh, no, I mean, uh, the, some of these areas might denote what size I can work with. Yep. Um, yep. So. If you tell me, like again with the urban thing, I'm used to like, here's yeah. two square feet, like what do you do with that? Um, 
you know, the corner of the f playing field sounds great. You know, uh, the, you know, along the river sounds great, but it's sunlight is so yeah. I'll take whatever I can get. And so that little goofy sliver that we have at North Silver and Park. So that's yeah. Park. I like slivers. That, that yeah. little bitty okay. sliver. That little bitty. Yep. It's the weirdest thing. Right. North Silver and Park. I know what those. Yeah, yes. it's it's a corner oh. lot that the yep. town owns. Right. And it's right at. It's right the at tri the triangle. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> no, I'm at. I'm at. Not the, not the triangle. Not the triangle. I'm, I'm at. No, she knows where I'm at. Yeah, yeah. It's at the uh, where Park Lane comes Park Lane off of North and Silver. Park comes out of North Silver. Exactly. It's the There's North this weird corner. Little it's a lot of not town. town owns it. Yeah, we looked at it as a possible habitat for humanity. Um, it's a, it's small a great. It's of all western southern aspect. It's, oh, it's, 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 it's kids rid of some knotweed. That's a good point, yeah. Scott. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. near the school, so kids might be engaged. Well, it's not that close to the school. Oh, it's not. So. No. I guess it's a longer road. I can, Yeah. Anyway, that, that came to mind. Yeah, yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Forgot about that. So um, that's, that's the part we're going to put it high rise in there. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not in my backyard. We're still in public comment. Uh, yep, public well, comment. Um, oh, I just have one item I didn't get on the agenda, but um, the town accountant or treasurer, um, accountant or treasurer, has approached um, us um, about interest that was um, paid on the park grant. Okay. Um, that because there it was a reimbursement grant mm -hmm. and he said there was like a, a, it's like twenty eight hundred dollars or so in interest that the town paid just in the that mm. to you know that we it wasn't that long of mm, time I was pretty property. shocked yeah. um, by that figure um, but because it was only like a month or two between when we paid the bill and we got reimbursed but anyway he he needs this interest to be paid and it wasn't in our budget and I I hadn't kind of been forewarned about it and I just wanted to check in with you all about that um, so we'll, we'll like, follow we'll follow up with the accountant and see what mechanism we have to employ to do that yeah, he had suggested that we pay, there's some remainder in the the CPA grant that we had, but um, I don't I I would not like to use that fund for that purpose for two reasons. One is because it, it it's not what we it wasn't in our budget that we took to town meeting, um, and um, and also we that those funds are earmarked for um, some benches. Sure. So, um, I, I think like I, I just wanted to check in with you if there's if there's some other town fund that interest can be come out of and if not maybe we need to do a CPA yeah, we'll a new to, one we'll to talk with Brian and see what makes the most sense and then the future for future work bear in mind that we have to cover our carrying costs especially on the reimbursement right. side right yeah right there's always a percentage of carrying costs. Yeah. <clears throat> we got to figure that out. Right. We'll get the math right and see where it can come from. Okay. okay. Anything else with respect to public comment? Ta ta ta. It's the liveliest bunch in a long time. I like it. <laughs> Good stuff. Okay. So we voted to not, voted to not, voted to not. Uh, let's jump back up to minutes of the January 6th, and then we'll move on to CHA and their 100% design scope services. Motion. Second. Motion's made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Three to zero, please. Okay. Next up, we have uh, town administrator search update. As I said earlier, not letting the cat out of the bag, the lawyers have the uh, draft contract the board voted uh, to present, and we hope to have that here midweek this week, and then review, vote, and uh, get one to Jeffrey, and he can review. That's it with, with respect to that. Um, CHA's 100% design work. This is North Main Street construction. And this is our exceptions that were presented to the DOT that were approved. Uh, we need to now appropriate, we need to accept the scope of services 
to get our final documentation to 100%, meaning construction design documents. And one area in here, it's important to bear in mind in the design and construction documents are there are um, some preliminary right of ways where uh, work will butt up to the private property line, in particular on driveways, but it's only a construction right of way. There's no land taking associated with anything on this project at all. Project duration. Right, so for project duration, it's important to bear that in mind. As I, again, reiterate the point, there's no land changes that are happening. All of this is inside of the town layout, and inside of the town layout, when the when you run up against the private property, part of the DOT specification is that they want to have right of way to make sure that they can join your driveway back together. They can, you know, put a bucket hose, you know, somewhere. And then it goes away when the project's done. So that's what that's about. Anybody on North Main Street, you're going to be getting one of those. And don't freak out. There's no land being taken. <laughs> You'll end up with better driveways. Um, so a timeline here is going to start the design in January, February. They're going to complete the um, design to DOT for review. April through August, at the end of August, have project ready documentation for construction advertisement. That's what this stage is at. We've gone through all the 25%, the 50%, the 75%, and now it looks like we're going to be awfully close uh, with this vote on the services and then the value. I'm right now have my village center sure. committee sure. hat on um, here representing them. And um, I just wanted to check in with you because we at the village center committee unanimously um, voted that um, when we saw what the adjustments were after the big public forum, yeah. we're very concerned that many um, traffic calming measures had been removed mm -hmm. um, based on that, um, you know, that one meeting. Right. And we had recommended that um, the, um, like the little, I don't know, what you, island. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah with some sort of welcome sign get added back in. And okay. I just wanted to see what the status of that. Okay, I'll follow up with John to see about that. Okay, did you, but did, did the select board support? Can, can we, Sarah, can we have that in writing? It, uh, Lauren sent a letter. Uh, did it, you not get it? I have, yeah. no? We'll double check. Didn't get it. I think so. Did she just send it today? No, no, um, but I'll. It would be, probably within 60 days anyway, right? There's been a couple of meetings with that group. Um, I've been at a couple. I, 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 think, I, I think I remember seeing it. Mm -hmm. I've seen something from Lauren, but I don't yeah. remember. It's, it's dated November 26th. There you go. Um, so do you want me to forward that to you, Cindy? Yes, please. please. Okay. And can we compare it to the it, it, Cindy, put that put that on the agenda, and I'd like to compare yep. it to the to the notes that were taken by an impartial individual, because we we sat in the back of the room during that. Yeah, well, actually, I sat over there, there. Yeah. and 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 I think that we got kicked out. <laughs> but there, there there the so there was notes that were taken. Mm -hmm. So I, I'd like to look at those notes. Yeah, we're still waiting for those. I don't think we've received yeah, I, those. Yeah, that's and and I I think that's yeah. what we. We we want those minutes. Yep. So I because and again I, I I they were pretty specific what they were taking down for Correct. for minutes. And yeah. Yeah. DOT, I know I mean, Sherry they had, they had a scribe. Yeah. And I think you have to respect what people were saying. Mm -hmm. So I, I would hate to just eliminate it. Right. Yeah. I I was um, sick that night and but I watched from home and and. And I do remember that the people who spoke, there was a kind of a, people sort of jumped on a bandwagon about taking that out. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I, I guess, 
I mean, I would say as many people who spoke against it at that meeting are, you know, are on the committee that spoke in favor sure. of it. Um, I, I just think I don't. I mean, I don't know what the mechanism is. But I think it should be reconsidered just because. Uh, I, I did, sir. I did talk. To, I did talk to George afterwards, uh -huh. and and the highway superintendent is very concerned if it's there, uh -huh. and and as it as it was presented, because he wouldn't be able to get his wing plow through there. Oh, okay. So hmm. so yeah. it, it, it couldn't be there. it couldn't oh, okay. be constructed. Hmm. He would recommend that it's it's not like what we find down on one sixteen now. Right. 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 Um, Which is a lot wider. Yeah. So, so if there's a so, I guess the the conversation with CHA would be more: is there a way to do something without impeding? Yeah. Plow. The plow. And, and I say that be because when if you notice, like in front of on one sixteen in front of the the shopping plaza down there, you notice the uh, the yellow turn lanes that they they put in the road. Um. After they, they ended up being, we never thought they would work, right. um, and that was in response to somebody uh, losing their life down there. Yes. Um, but they actually have done a good job at controlling, and 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 it's we people. went. And it was, so maybe maybe there's a different maybe there's a paint maybe there's something that they can do differently. So. Yeah. I I think maybe that was. It way back in November so. Um, but if I remember right, I think that the original concern was they didn't want to turn it into something like Pine Street and Amherst, uh -huh. mm -hmm. where where they put where they put in the um, the granite curbing. I think that's what was Susan. I, th I think it was Susan that made that point originally, and I think I agree with her. And when I talked to George, George would agree also. Mm -hmm. So, but maybe there was something that we could do a little differently to accomplish the same thing. Yeah, I think. Uh that um, makes sense. It's just, I think, like, the way that meeting went, the <coughs> accumulation and everything, it was like a whole bunch of traffic coming things yeah. got taken out. Mm -hmm. And it, I like, and the traffic coming was such a big concern sure. to the town. So, if they're, instead of just taking it all out, if, they're, if it could be replaced or, or there could be a, some kind of substitute. Re revisit it. Yeah, some sort of gateway gateway treatment, like they call it, I guess, you know, as you're entering the village, that mm -hmm. something that kind of makes people aware and slows them down there. Makes sense. Okay. Yeah, it's like you've exceeded the speed limit, you get shocked. <laughs> <laughs> Sonic blast. If you, well, if you go in the Illinois River mm -hmm. and through Chicago, the they put up no, the, uh, they put up to keep the carp, the yep. Asian carp from yep. getting in the Great electric Lakes. Net. They have big electric net, electric. Yep, yep. exactly. Shows. Okay. Um, so Scott, uh, they they've also included in their thing about a Part C additional services. Mm -hmm. Are these services that we're going to need, and should we get quotes on those as well? It's a great question. So I think I think there's a conversation that has to be mm -hmm. had with John about this. Yep. You know I don't I you know are these the, the scope looks right. It does. Straight but, forward. But but the I'm the, looking at the additional I'm looking at the additional dollars. Now is that is that something that if if we don't take advantage of now we're going to get hit later on for these unex, mm. unexpected costs or somebody say well why didn't you do this mm, exactly. So you know, I, I will call John in the morning to see just what the the fee is fifty three thousand dollars. To get the last twenty five percent, right? And if you think about it in the grand scheme, this falls well within the the typical uh, range of construction, even at the state level, where engineering is ten to twelve percent of total costs. Right. So we're going we're to be in the quarter of a million dollars of engineering on a two million plus dollar project. Right. Well, but you, if you're looking at these additional geotechnical investigation mm -hmm. reports analysis, well, some are going to come back and say it's necessary. Mm, good point. Does the state come back and say that? Right. Yeah. That's what I mean. Yep. So, all right. So you're going to talk to John? Yep. I'll talk right. to John in the morning. Good. Thank you, Scott. But I would, do you want a motion? Yeah, I'd like to move at least on proceeding, and then we can get our details. Motion. Second. 
So motion's made and seconded. This is to get to 100% design phase. I have homework to do, and that's fine. Um, the price here is 53200 The question is about the scope of the services themselves. They didn't finish it off for $53,000, huh? You look at it what's on there, on there now. It's seventy-five to hundred. The the big nut was fifty to seventy-five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the seventy-five to seventy-five to hundred. That's that's a lot of the definitive stuff, though. Correct. That that's 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 where the cutting and pasting comes in. Yeah. <laughs> no, the cutting and pasting was the first seventy-five percent to tell you the truth. <laughs> but, but but now now it's now it's site specific. Right. right. Now they got to put sites just specific stuff on paper so that that's why that's why this that schedule seated something that maybe i talked about. yeah yeah because as far as i know three out of three of those is something that we're responsible for mm -hmm. for the state just or the state's going to not hold off on it because we haven't done it exactly right okay okay there was a motion in second all those in favor aye aye, aye. two to zero please okay that goes with me. I'll call him from the attic. Okay, thanks so much. Thank you. So, Rich, uh, Brenda is looking for I and I a letter of support for Sugarloaf Estates and needing to get into the basements for inspections. It's been a difficult challenge. And like a letter from us saying, let him in. Motion. Motion's made and seconded. Second. Yep. There, I got, make sure I get this one. I, I jumped yeah, the gun on that's that okay. one, right? So again, this is this is uh, requiring that uh, Sugarloaf Estates at 28 River Road <coughs> allow for inspections of their basements and water leaders uh, to ensure the compliance with the uh, the uh, sewer bylaws here in town. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Three to zero, please. Okay. We got those for Rich, and again, I, I don't, I don't feel the need to. The the board's fully aware of the state that we're at with respect to the, the town administrator search. So, right. okay, no, no I, 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 think Scott that, um, no, I, I think sometimes you you have and people may not understand. But the state legislator and the governor deem that that the town administrator can negotiate a contract. There, yeah. And there's master in the law, blah blah blah. And it, is there certain positions, treasurer, collector, mm -hmm. uh, they they can negotiate contracts. And this is where where you go through it, and it's it's time consuming, just like with the chief of police. And 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 now everything is agreed. We we've used a base contract that we've used with with town administrators in the past with with margaret and sherry and Dave. Dave. some of it goes back to dana so where that language came from a lot of, it, <laughs> a lot of the language comes back from dana yeah. so i mean so it's not something that unusual or different but it just takes a little bit of time and i think we're 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 very close and um i i think that we're very fortunate to to have someone of uh Actually, the three the three candidates that we we interviewed, I, um, and, <coughs> and I think um, it was probably the most rapid hiring, and we've been doing it since October. So, mm -hmm. well, we targeted January. I know. Here we are. We're awful I close. Know. So, they get David good. David do the David uh, sign it off in legal form, get it to Jeff for spell check, etc., and then uh, hopefully at our next meeting we have an announcement. Yeah, I, I think, and, and, you know, I think Cindy's done a, a great job, you know, and, and our staff has stepped up because mm -hmm. um, it's not, not easy. And, think, and, and there's a lot of things that are ongoing that, that need to be kept going, and everybody is, is doing, doing their, their stuff and more. So I think it's, it's good. Keeps us in contact with the process. As an elected official, it's easy to get lulled into, ah, the administrator's going to handle it. I don't know. Try living with that one for a little while. <laughs> right. Right. Okay. Um, 
Updates uh, from the board. Any updates? Um, senior Center, we're, we were supposed to have a meeting tomorrow night, but I guess it's got postponed because it wasn't posted properly. Okay. So I think it's going to be rescheduled to the 21st, I think. Um, but that we're talking about the budget. Um, the South County EMS, we have a meeting on the 16th. Um, and we're going to be talking about their budget. Um, we've got the first draft of the budget, so we're going to be finalizing. I think it's actually finalized because we have to have it submitted to the town so that they have it. But we're just going to do some fine tuning. Um, the fire truck is almost is ready for delivery. They're just lining up drivers to drive it out here. Nice. I'm trying to get a box big enough for it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they're gonna put a bow on it for for, it via for, the, Amazon. for the chief in the <laughs> department. Yeah, but yeah. but it, that's that's coming. I've seen pictures. It's a beautiful truck. Um, Just like those Lexus ads, right? Look, like a brand new truck. Five hundred thousand dollars for a yeah. fire truck. And we signed the bond last last meeting or meeting before. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, for a fire truck. So. It's being built in uh, Dakota's South Dakota. South Dakota. South. Nice. South Dakota, North Dakota. One of the photos. The nicer one. One with all the uh, sunflowers. There you go. Okay. That's it, Scott. Uh, Capital Planning Committee tomorrow night downstairs. Our first pass of budget requests. Uh, and then on Wednesday, so of the Capital Planning Committee, there's a request from the facilities director at Frontier to get the capital planning committee members from Sunderland to go walk the elementary school to go through their what they what they're what they're going to be bringing forward. So mm. that'll be one of the key decisions yeah, tomorrow. The boiler? I don't know where the boiler, yeah. but there's going to be insurance again, I guess. At least yeah. this section. They're going to replace the section or repair the section. Uh, I'm not sure. I just saw them this afternoon. The last time yeah, they did a replacement. Didn't specify the exact problem. We're waiting for the invoice. Yeah. For the proposal. I don't know what it says either. Ben did know I talked to him this morning. Yeah. I'm not sure. The yeah, last one that Bob did was a replacement <coughs> because it was an end section, so. A lot easier. A middle section you don't want to get involved in. Yeah. Right. So. Yeah, David, so uh, we got a personnel committee meeting tomorrow, and then I have two dates scheduled for Union 38 negotiations. I got the 22nd and the 28th, I believe. Nice. So, it's going to be meeting down. Okay. Can you spare a light bulb soon? I hope so. It'd be interesting to see how it all ends up playing out, but you're going from. F thirty fours down to eleven watts. So. We should see if really? it's an electric. Oh, it definitely will. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so. nope. The only I, thing is, is eleven or eighteen. No a flickering. lot of them stayed on today. Yeah. So I'm not sure. Yeah. If all Overall, those, it'll still be a lot less. All the switches are. Yeah, we'll work, work with out. everything. They should. So. And the quality is a lot better with the light. Yeah, we'll so. find out tomorrow morning. They're not and done. They're coming back tomorrow. When you get a chance, can you talk to Chris about flat screen? He, he, says, that, he that, says it's easy to do. It's mm -hmm. very easy to do. <laughs> it's a painful. He says he, we have money. I'll just make a Costco run and get it for guys. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Or, or Walmart. You know, we actually have. Or like, Amazon. Any of those places, yeah. Um, we actually we have a, a very good conference set up in our office where there's also another monitor backwards so that everybody who's up speaking can mm -hmm. see. Oh, nice. Yeah. Although I don't know, I don't necessarily work here, yeah. but but you know that's something to think about. But even okay. even just getting a big one yeah. there is going to go a long way to I, I making presentations. I, I think we, especially with the bit, especially with the budget season coming up. Yep, right. Put it in. Do that do and get a Wi-Fi dongle and an Apple TV, and then anybody can connect to it. You know, it's like under I don't know, like say three hundred bucks and under. 
and that'll cover all types of media. So nice. whether you come with a, an Apple or you know Windows PC machine, or doesn't matter. You can, or an iPad, you can connect to them. Does that require a subscription for Apple? No. 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 no you just buy the Apple TV so you can hook into it, yeah. and then the little Wi-Fi dongle so you can yeah. connect to it remotely. So yeah. you can sit there, no cables, yeah. and connect to the monitor. Nice. So. And they work great. We've got them in all our conference rooms. So, like, when I go into a room, if I'm doing a presentation, I just open it up, connect to it, done. Cool. We can do that. Makes a How big, big do you want? 70 inch? Bigger? Why? Yeah, that big. Well, yeah. 65, 70, 70 would be good, yeah. That's what I have. <laughs> it's like, well, we right, can because, open our curtains and everybody can see out there. Right. Nice. Just because the size of the room and everything, yeah. you know. And, and it'll, we, we won't have to turn the lights off every time either. Which it won't nice. look that big anyway. No, once you get it up there. Okay, no, that's solved. Is there a motion to adjourn? Uh, motion. Is there a second? Oh, please. <laughs> second. <laughs> that said, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.